Hey everyone, I watched a video today by Rational Roundtable, it's linked below. In the video, Rational Roundtable was calling out all sides, atheists, theists, conservatives, liberals, everyone, to just basically have respect for one another, um, to keep an open mind, at least in as far as we should just, you know, accept that other people, even if they have different beliefs, come to their beliefs for for reasons and that that doesn't make them stupid or inferior and that you know in the end we need to stop treating each other as the enemy the response to rational roundtables video as of this video is that he's received more thumbs down on the video than thumbs up and the top two comments are comments basically ridiculing him for his religious beliefs which makes his point entirely to me. This was a video that was encouraging open-mindedness, uh, respect for other human beings, and not treating other human beings like the enemy just for some particular belief that they may hold, before hearing them out and seeing whether they actually are antagonistic towards you. The response, in large part, was antagonism treating him as the enemy and not responding to his video but just about his belief in Christianity which had very little actually to do with the video. That to me is sad, especially since supposedly us atheists, the whole rational thing, the whole ooh, we debate everything and we, you know, we respect people and we cherish humanity because there's no God and humans are really great and everything's so beautiful about us and yet that's you know that's the level we rise to we the vast majority of atheists that have watched this video perhaps not the vast majority but apparently at least 50 percent look right past what, what what Rational Roundtable was actually saying and just focused on his one of his beliefs. A belief that in Rational Roundtable's case I have not seen cause any negative consequences whatsoever because Rational Roundtable is not only at least as far as he portrays himself on YouTube and I have no reason to believe that reality is any different not just a very reasonable and rational person, but a kind-hearted person that honestly cares about his fellow human beings. How can you disagree with that? I don't know. Apparently people can. What this whole kind of experience and experiences like it in the past have brought me to is after I became an atheist and I kind of started getting serious about it, I was a bit of, you know, a bit of a zealot, a bit of a, we need to fix the world, we need to get atheism out there, we need to get rid of all the rubbish ideas because they're holding people back and they're making people mean and they're making people nasty. Well, the mean and nasty people are on our side as well. And if I look at the distribution, then I can't, you know, I don't think there's any statistically significant uh, difference in nastiness on both the sides. I think there may be uh, a certain uh, preponderance of scientific illiteracy in certain theist camps, rational roundtable, and many, many people on the theistic side accepted, but obviously there are people that believe the Earth was created 5,000 years ago. But you know, that's that's a scientific thing and that's something important. But even more important than that is obviously common decency and humanity. And in that, there's absolutely no difference that I can discern. Um, it's disturbing how ineffective uh, an atheist mindset is in making people better people. I guess it's not really surprising and that's why I've lost this faith in this meta-narrative of uh, religion somehow having molded the world into a bad and nasty place whereas reason 
we'll make it into a better world. I mean, I'm not saying reason won't. I'm saying that just because you don't believe in God, you're not reasonable. You're still just about as likely to be completely unreasonable as if you did believe in God. And the fact that you believe that you're completely reasonable now because you've dropped this one idea which probably in my eyes isn't true, that makes you all the more dangerous. Um, so, you know, there's a lot, there are a lot of losers in this, I think. Atheism as a superior ideal is a loser because it is not providing the goods. The debate is a loser because it is being dragged into the pits of just empty hatred and BS. You know, obviously religion's a loser as well because Dawa films sunk to a level that was, I believe in many ways, a, a new low. Um, so, lots of losers, but there are winners. And the great thing is, the winners aren't atheists or theists. They are atheists and theists. They're theists like Rational Roundtable, who are good, kind, decent people, who want people to understand one another and not treat one another as the enemy and to get along and be productive together. And there are people on the atheist side that want exactly the same thing, like Potholer54, who fights for his idea, for his belief that atheism is the correct way and that uh, religion is false, but who rejects the animosity displayed after his uh, after the false DMCA against him against the person that DMCA'd him on the grounds that she was a Muslim and the grounds you know all of the usual vitriol that comes out against this he's he stepped out and he said that's not what I believe in I'm a liberal I'm an open-minded person and Lots of you are going way too far. And he was attacked for that. He was attacked for his open-mindedness and for his respect towards human beings, just like Rational Roundtable was. And for the fact that they are both people who are willing to stand up for their own beliefs in the face of criticism from their own side and the opposite side. For that, I salute them. And if you're not subscribed to either of them, subscribe to them right now. Because there's, in my eyes, very little you can do to, um, to more productively use your YouTube time than to listen to people like Potholder54 and Rational Roundtable. Church of SDFU, I will see you guys all later.